one thing we're trying to make sure that, that our team continually understands is that to win big, I mean, to win really big, you've got to be able to play a lot of different ways. And as much as we want to set the pace and tempo, sometimes you, you don't have to have patience, but you've got to wait for your opportunity. And as long as you're playing solid and as long as you're, you're, you're sticking with what you know works, sometimes those opportunities come when you, when, when, when you least expect it or they come – when you, when you force the tempo just a little bit more uh, defensively because you know that you can. And I think that tonight it was a little bit like that. We kept waiting for the game to, to go our way in the first half, uh, but no one got discouraged or, 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 or got sped up to the point where uh, we started forcing the action. And we probably didn't get it as in, inside as much as we needed to in the first half, especially with where we were in the bonus at the 10.53 mark. But we were playing really hard really solid and and just waiting for it to to break and in the second half they, they did something about it even that much more and I think that's that's the sign of a team that's maturing and getting better it's like I said to them at halftime you know when it with the, when the score is low because a couple of the guys mentioned we only had x amount of points and it's we're not trying to set records we're trying to win a national championship and and there's certain things that we'd really like to do defensively and and offensively I don't know if there'll be records but there'll be things that could really make us better but at the end of the day, if you want to win big, you've got to be able to play a lot of different ways. And, and tonight our guys did that, and they stayed true to the game plan. And the game plan was to, to continue to, uh, no matter how we had to do it, whether it was post-up drives, cuts, uh, whatever it was, that we needed to get to the foul line. And, and they did a great job uh, of taking away some of the penetration angles that we usually uh, use, and our guys did a great job of finding a different way. And uh, that's a tribute to the coaches, like Kenny Johnson, who did a phenomenal job in the preparation. Uh, Steve McLean and Tim and Calbert, who are always over there talking and, 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 and coming up with things. And our guys reading the game at a really high level. So we knew we would play against a team that would play extremely hard. We spent time uh, preparing for this game, looking at how they would played against the best teams in our league, uh, especially when they were at Michigan and when they were at Michigan State. And, and, and playing Ohio State the two times that they did, especially at, at Nebraska. And uh, they've got a tough, hard-nosed group. We knew they would. And uh, I thought our guys did a, a really good job of, of, of knowing, locking in, and respecting what they do. And to hold Gallegos to uh, no points in the first half, uh, that was a big, big deal because he, he takes 17 shots a game on the road and 10 threes a game on the road. And, and to hold him down the way that we did, I thought, was, was really important. And uh, same thing with Ubel, because he can do so many different things. And, uh, but I like their team, and uh, uh, they're going to get better, and hopefully people look at us and see the same thing.